noisy night. Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> This is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. Pepper and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no! We found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. He likes noise. We're a noisy family. Everyone is back in their beds, asleep. <coughs> baby Alexander is awake. To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Peppa, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. <coughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop. Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the alarm! Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Alexander. Peppa and George's cousins are coming to visit today. Mummy, how long before Cousin Chloe is here? Not long now, Peppa. Baby Alexander is coming too, remember? Oh, babies cry all the time. They're so noisy. I'm sure Baby Alexander won't be that noisy. <coughs> What's 
that sound? Is it a car alarm? Is it a fire engine? No, it's baby Alexander. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Hello, Cousin Chloe. Hello, everyone. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello. Hello, Auntie Pig. You remember baby Alexander, don't you, Peppa? Yeah. <laughs> Are you staying for a few days? No, this is what Alexander needs for just one day. Can't go anywhere without all these baby things. Oh. Hello, baby Alexander. He can't talk, Peppa. If he can't talk, then how do you know what he wants? We guess. <coughs> I'm guessing he's hungry. Peppa, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh. <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper. Do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander <laughs> is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <sniffs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <sniffs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Peppa. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Pepper has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. <laughs> <laughs> the baby piggy. Peppa and George are visiting their big cousin, Chloe. Today, as well as seeing Chloe, you are going to meet your new cousin. Ooh! Peppa and her family have arrived at Chloe's house. Hello. Hello! Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa and George. This is Chloe, Peppa and George's big cousin. But where's our new cousin? Here's your new baby cousin. Ooh! The new cousin is a tiny baby piggy. Oh, how beautiful. Is it a girl, baby? No, it's a boy. Oh, I wish it was a girl. Me too. <laughs> George is pleased the baby is a boy. Dinosaur. 
I think the baby's too little to play with dinosaurs. George, the baby doesn't want to play with you. It wants to play with me. <coughs> Pepper, the baby is much too little to play ball games. But if it can't play with a dinosaur or a ball, what can it do? It eats and it sleeps. <coughs> and it does that. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Pig, can I hold the baby? Yes. If you're very careful, you can hold Alexander. Alexander? That's his name. Baby Alexander. What a big name for such a small piggy. It's quite nice, even though it's a boy. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, what's that smell? Maybe Alexander's nappy needs changing. Ugh, disgusting. Peppa, when you were a baby, you wore nappies. I did not. <laughs> 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 Mummy, can I play with Peppa and George in the garden? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, is it nice having a little baby brother? Yes. Alexander is very sweet. I wish George was a sweet little baby piggy. I know. George can pretend to be a baby piggy. He can go in my doll's pram. That's a good idea. No. George does not want to be a baby. George, if you pretend to be a baby, I promise to be nice to you forever and ever. George is thinking. And you can play with all my toys. George is thinking more. And when we get home, you can play with all my toys. <laughs> George has decided. Goo, goo, goo. What a sweet baby piggy. <laughs> Here are Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit and Zoe Zebra. Hello. <laughs> Why is George in that doll's pram? It's not George. It's a baby piggy. Goo, goo. But it is George. George is a pretend baby piggy. Ah! Is this a girl or a boy? It's a girl. No. George does not want to be a girl, baby. OK, it's a boy. <laughs> I've got some cookies. Would the baby piggy like one? Oh, no. It can't eat cookies. <laughs> George likes cookies. Maybe it can have one cookie. <laughs> goo goo! It's so clever and so handsome! <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. It's the best baby piggy ever. George likes this game. <laughs> Here is Auntie Pig with baby Alexander. Wow! A proper real baby piggy! <laughs> it's so gorgeous! It's much sweeter than George. Oh dear, George liked being the baby piggy. Oh, George, you'll always be my baby piggy. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a new game. How about some dinosaur chasing? <laughs> Eek! Too scary! <laughs> George liked being a baby piggy, but he likes being George more. Peppa and George are playing in the garden. To me, George! You threw the ball too hard, George. So the rules say I win. <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> I win again! Peppa, George, today your big cousin Chloe is coming to visit. Yippee! <laughs> cousin Chloe! <laughs> George, Chloe is a big girl, like me. So don't be sad if she finds you too little to play with. Oh, I'm sure Chloe will play with both of you. Chloe's here. Auntie Pig has brought Chloe to spend the day at Peppa's house. <laughs> Chloe is Peppa and George's cousin. <laughs> Chloe is a bit older than Peppa and George. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. <laughs> See you later. Do you want to play a game? Yes, let's play catch. Peppa loves playing catch. Do you still play catch? That's a game for little children. Oh, we only play catch because George likes it. OK, let's play it for George. 
Do you play it with the proper rules or the baby rules? Proper rules. I'll start. Peppa, you're it. Catch me if you can. Peppa is it. She has to chase Chloe and George. Can't catch me. <laughs> George, I'm going to easily catch you. You're so little. <laughs> That's not fair. You're helping George. That's because he's little. Do you want me to help you? No, I don't need help. I'm a big girl like you. Come on then, Peppa. Try and catch us. <laughs> Can't catch us. <laughs> Can't catch us. <laughs> this is a silly game. Can we play something else? OK. I know a really good game for big children. It's called Sly Fox. <laughs> Sly Fox? I want to play Sly Fox. What is it? One person is the sly fox, and the others creep up on them. Me, me! I want to be the sly fox. Pepper <laughs> is the sly fox. While her back is turned, the others creep up on her. But if Pepper turns and sees someone move, they have to go back to the start. George, I saw you move. Back to the start. <laughs> Got you. I win. You moved before I was ready. The rules say I can move when I like, don't they, George? <laughs> now it's Chloe's turn to be the sly fox. Peppa and George must stay very still. <coughs> Peppa, I saw you move. Back to the start. <coughs> it's not fair. You look too long. The rules say I can look as long as I want. <coughs> Back to the start. <laughs> <coughs> George is the winner. <laughs> Can we play a different game? Yes, but as long as it's a grown-up game. I know! Let's play my favourite game. It's very grown-up. George, do you know what Peppa's favourite game is? <laughs> Peppa's favourite game is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. George, if you jump in puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> I've brought some boots for you too, Chloe. I'm too grown up to jump in muddy puddles. Oh, so am I. <laughs> George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Secretly, Peppa would love to jump in the puddle, but she wants to look grown up. I hear there's some puddle jumping going on. <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig love jumping in muddy puddles. It does look fun. Yes, it does. <laughs> Maybe there's a rule that says big girls can jump in muddy puddles. Yes, that's a good rule. Race you! Race you! Peppa and Chloe love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even grown-up girls. <laughs> Peppa and her family are visiting Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig and Cousin Chloe. I expect Uncle Pig will fall asleep after lunch like he always does. Daddy Pig, you shouldn't say such things about your own brother, especially in front of the children. But it's true. Uncle Pig always eats too much lunch and falls asleep, snoring loudly, like this. <laughs> Uh, Peppa, George, forget what I just said about Uncle Pig. OK, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived at Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig's house. Hello, Auntie Pig and Uncle Pig. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Big Brother. Uncle Pig is Daddy Pig's brother. Chloe Pig is Peppa and George's cousin. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I want to show you something. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new puppet theatre. My daddy made it for me. Wow! Ooh. I've made two puppets already. This one is called Chloe. Hello, I am Chloe Pig. <laughs> and this one is my daddy, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. I am Uncle Pig. <laughs> Chloe, can me and George make puppets too? Yes. Chloe paints the puppet's eyes. 
Can I do the mouth? Okay. My name is Peppa. <laughs> George, what puppet would you like to make? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? George always says dinosaur for everything. Okay. A scary dinosaur puppet. Chloe is making George a dinosaur puppet. It needs pointy teeth. There, a scary dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> lunch time, everyone. Coming. After lunch, we'll do a puppet show. Hooray! <laughs> Auntie Pig has made spaghetti for lunch. <laughs> this spaghetti is delicious. <laughs> Best spaghetti ever. You can tell you two are brothers. Alike in every way. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we are completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George and I are going to do a puppet show. Fantastic. Call us when you're ready. <laughs> See you later. A puppet show? That sounds fun. Have I got time for some more spaghetti? Could I have some more too? <laughs> <laughs> The puppet show is about to begin. Hello, my name is Chloe. And I am Peppa. Grrr. Ah! It's a dinosaur! A scary dinosaur! Eek. Oh, I say, that's very good. Bravo! I am Uncle Pig. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks just like you. I think they've made my tummy a bit big. Oh, ho! Oh, I did enjoy my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Pig, are you going to fall asleep and snore like you always do? What do you mean? Daddy says you always fall asleep and snore loudly, like this. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> ho, ho, your daddy's right. I do snore like this. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you shouldn't have said those things about Uncle Pig. I don't think Daddy Pig or Uncle Pig can hear you. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig have fallen asleep. You can tell they are brothers. <laughs> hey, what happened? Huh? Has the puppet show started yet? <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig's computer. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, Grandpa Pig. What's this? A cuckoo clock? Yes, it goes cuckoo, cuckoo, but it's broken. <laughs> Can you mend it, please, Grandpa Pig? Hmm. Let's take it to my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed, where Grandpa mends things. I'll take a look inside. Grandpa! Now you've really broken it. Oh. I wonder if I've got a book on clocks. Ah, here we are. How clocks work. Grandpa Pig has mended the cuckoo clock. Hooray! <laughs> cuckoo! 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 cuckoo. <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Mummy! Grandpa's mended the cuckoo clock. That's nice. What's that? It's my old computer. I can't mend that. It's not broken. I've got a new computer. I thought you might like my old one. Um, I I'm not sure. I, I, I really need one. Oh, a computer. What does it do? You can do letters with it. Look, Granny. A, B, C, D. And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry, you can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> 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 the best thing it does is Happy Mrs Chicken. <laughs> when you press this button, she lays an egg. <laughs> I 
I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> That's fun! Uh, perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye. Goodbye. Shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Pepper and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. <coughs> now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh! Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There! That should do it. I am mended. My grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? <laughs> no, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow! wow. So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> the Blackberry Bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, hi, Granny, Granny Pig. Pig. We've got baskets for the apples and buckets for the black. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa! But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush. 
And she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. Mm -hmm. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black Berry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Pepper. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble, then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> the Wishing Well. Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George around his garden. Here are my cabbages, broccoli and sprouts. Ooh. Potatoes, carrots and beetroots live here. And over there is the fruit. What is this? Grandpa? That, Pepper, is a weed. What is a weed? A weed is a cheeky plant growing in the wrong spot. Oh. Pull it out and throw it in this bucket. There's no room for weeds in my tidy garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is very proud of his garden. Maybe there is room to grow a little strawberry here. In the middle of my carrots? No, Peppa. Strawberries belong with a fruit. Everything has its place. Isn't that right, Granny Pig? Yes, Grandpa. Can we find a little place for this? Uh, no. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Peppa. And he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> there, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. Ah! And here come the rest of them. What? Mr Bull is bringing Mr Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. Naughty Grandpa Pig. Those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! <laughs> Use this as well. Cheerio! Thank you, Mr. Ball. Goodbye. Bye-bye. What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa. It's a well. What is a well? A well, Peppa, is a very deep hole with water in it. Ooh. And as it happens, I do need water for my garden, so a well will be useful. But that is not a well. It's made of plastic and there's no hole. It's beautiful. What's the point of a well without water? It's a wishing well. You throw a coin into it and make a wish. Can I make a wish, Granny? 
Of course, Pepper. Here's a little coin. I wish, I wish, I wish. Well, don't tell us what you're wishing for. OK. Finished! Very good. Granny, do the wishes always come true? Yes. Oh, goody. But now it's time for Grandpa to take you home. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Goodbye, my little ones. Grandpa, you are very lucky having a wishing well in your garden. Do you think so, Peppa? Yes. You can wish for things whenever you want. Hmm. And the wishes always come true, because Granny Pig said so. Yes. Do you want to know what I wished for, Grandpa? What did you wish for, Peppa? I wish that I could have a wishing well and gnomes in my garden. Oh, well, I think we can do that. Pepper and George have arrived home. Mummy, Daddy, I made a wish and it came true. Really? What did you wish for, Pepper? Lots of gnomes and a wishing well for our garden. <sighs> oh. Uh, Grandpa Pig, I don't think we have enough room. Nonsense! You've got plenty of room. Uh, yes. I suppose so. <laughs> Pepper and George love gnomes and wishing wells. Everybody loves gnomes and wishing wells. <laughs> Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa is showing Pepper and George his stamp collection. Ooh! I've collected hundreds of stamps from all over the world. Grandpa, I think you must have every stamp ever. Oh, I suppose I do have quite a few. So there's no need for you to buy any more stamps, is there, Grandpa? Hmm. Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. <coughs> it's the post! Ah, it's a postcard from my friend. What does it say? It says, wish you were here. I've never had a postcard. That's easy to fix. Let's write one to you and George now, then we can post it to you. Oh, goody! <laughs> what shall we write on it? Pepper and George, wish you were here. Lots of love, Pepper and George. Very good. Let's post it. Not yet, Pepper. We need to write where you live. Do you know your address, Pepper? Uh, the little house on the hill. Very good. Now can we post it? There's still something missing. Do you know what it is? It needs a kiss. <laughs> That's lovely. And we need a stamp, too. Grandpa has stamps. Uh, my stamps are not for licking and sticking on postcards, Peppa. They are for collecting and looking at. Come on, Peppa and George. I think we'll find some normal stamps upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Who can that be? Special delivery. Ah, this could be... Yes, it's the rare stamp I sent off for. It's a big box for just a step. Did it cost a lot of money? Shh, Granny Pig doesn't need to know. Right you are. There should be a stamp in this drawer. No stamps, Granny. We'll just have to carry on looking downstairs. What a beautiful stamp. And in perfect condition. Never been used. What's going on here? Oh, um, uh... What's all this mess? Oh, now I'll take it to the recycling. Look, Granny, a stamp for our postcard. Ah, good. I knew we'd find a stamp somewhere. George, would you like to lick it? <laughs> Stick it on the postcard. <laughs> now it's time to post your postcard. <laughs> Send it off, George. <laughs> Mr Zebra has come to collect the post. Um, did anyone see a stamp on the kitchen table? Yes, Grandpa. We stuck it on our postcard. Ah! My stamp! Stop! Stop! Come back, my stamp! <laughs> oh, my goodness! That stamp wasn't meant to be used. 
Why not, Grandpa? Well, it was a, a special stamp that I bought for my collection. Oh, so how much did it cost? Uh, not much. Ah, that's all right then. <laughs> and anyway, it's not lost. The postcard is going to Pepper and George's house. Oh, yes. I'll go straight there and wait for it to arrive. Uh, 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 my stamp! My stamp! <laughs> Grandpa Pig has arrived at Pepper and George's house. Oh, Grandpa Pig. I haven't missed the post, have I? <laughs> Special delivery. Oh, my lovely stamp. Actually, this is for Pepper and George. <laughs> A postcard! Yippee! <laughs> um, Grandpa, because our card has your lovely stamp on it, would you like to keep it? Oh, thank you, Peppa. This stamp was important before, but it's even more precious now that it's been posted to Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Look, I've got something to show you both. Ooh. This is the dolly I had when I was little. She looks very pretty. Can I hold her? Yes, but remember Dolly is very old and delicate, so do be gentle with her. I will, Granny. Anyway, enough of that. How would you both like to see something good? Yes, please. We need to go to my shed. <laughs> Grandpa is always making little things in his shed. I suppose it keeps him happy. Look at this. Ooh. I call it Mark One. It's my first homemade toy aeroplane. Airplane! <laughs> George loves aeroplanes. Can it fly, Grandpa? Of course. Watch this. Uh, landing is the tricky bit. It is the best little plane ever, Grandpa. But it could be better if it were bigger. So I made this one, Mark II. Wow! wow. Gently does it. Uh... Yes, like I said, landing is the tricky bit. Lovely, Grandpa. It's good to get these things out of your system. And now that you've made a big toy plane, there's no need to make another, is there? No, Granny Pig. Um, you know what? I fancy a glass of orange juice. Good idea, Grandpa Pig. Is anyone else thirsty? Yes, please. <laughs> then I'll go to the house and get some juice for all of us. See you later. Peppa, remember to take care of Dolly. I will, Granny. Bye, Granny. Right, now I can show you what I've been working on. This is Mark Three. Wow! Yes, it's bigger and better. It even has a place for a pilot to sit. We can put George in it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. I think that might be a bit dangerous. Aww. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. The toy aeroplane is doing a loop the loop. Dolly! Oh no, Dolly has fallen out of the plane. No need to panic. Hooray! Let's try something even more exciting. Watch out for the house, Grandpa! Oh, it's fine. The door is open. Now, where is that juice? What was that? Ah, you see, I know what I'm doing. Clever, Grandpa. Now, I just need to land it. 
gently does it. Ah! Donnie! Caught you! Hooray! Juice for everyone. Ah, Granny Pig. Perfect timing. What is that? Um, it's a toy aeroplane. A big toy aeroplane. Yes, I can see that. Grandpa did some fancy flying. And Dolly, did you enjoy your playtime with Pepper and George? Grandpa put Dolly in the aeroplane. Yes, yes, we've all had a lovely time. Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Pepper and George love toy aeroplanes. Everybody loves toy aeroplanes. <laughs> Pig's Pond. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. Today we are making a pond. Ooh. We start by digging a big hole. <laughs> Here is Mr Fox. Hello, Mr Fox. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you this morning? I don't need anything, thank you. Oh, where's Grandpa Pig? Does he want anything? I'm afraid Grandpa's busy digging a pond. Pond, you say? Why, I've got just the thing. It's a gnome <gasps> fishing. Lovely. Antique. One of a kind. I'll take it. Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are hard at work digging. Ooh. Pepper has found a little cup. Oh, that looks like a very old teacup. George has found an enormous bone. Dinosaur. <laughs> it might very well be a dinosaur bone, George. Ha! What's this? Grandpa Pig has found a gold coin. It's treasure, Grandpa. How is the pond coming along? Very well. We've dug up a cup, a dinosaur bone and a coin. It's buried treasure. How exciting. I have a little treasure too. That is not treasure. That is a gnome. Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Mr Fox says it's an antique. Very rare. One of a kind. Of course he did. Grandpa, do you think we really have found buried treasure? I'm not sure, but the museum would know. This is the museum. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Mr Rabbit. We've dug up some treasure. Let's take a look at what you've got. Mmm, a fine china cup. Interesting. What else have you brought to show me? A coin. Made of gold. Is it real plastic gold? No, it's metal gold. Ooh. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> My Goodness, this bone is the best of a lot. Look, it fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Thank you so much for bringing these valuable objects in. Valuable? So they are worth something? Oh, yes. They are worth lots of money. And you can visit the museum any time you like to see them. Eh? Children are free. And you, sir, get in half price because you are old. Can I just ask where you dug up such treasures? In Grandpa's garden. All digging must stop until an expert has been to investigate. Why? There may be other rare objects buried in the ground. <laughs> Granny, we're back. Hello, my little ones. Our treasures have to stay in the museum. And we can't dig here anymore until the expert digger comes. Where do you want me to dig, Mr Rabbit? Just about here, Mr Bull. <laughs> Mr Bull is an expert at digging. Find anything, Mr Bull? No, same as usual. Just a load of broken pottery and smashed stuff. Oh, well. Thank you for all your hard work anyway. No problem. I'm sorry we didn't find anything else. Not to worry. The good thing is you finished digging our pond for us. It's beautiful, Grandpa. A lovely natural pond. And to finish it off, a gnome. Do you like it, Mr Rabbit? I never thought I would see one in my lifetime. Oh, they're everywhere. 
This is an antique, one-of-a-kind and very valuable. Then it belongs in the museum. So it does. Oh. Don't worry. You can see it at the museum any time you want. And you can get in half price, Granny, because you are old. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are visiting <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig. Hello, Grandpa! Hello, Pepper and George. <laughs> George has found a ball. <laughs> ah! Careful, George. This is my greenhouse. It is made out of glass, which breaks easily. Oh. Let's throw this ball out of harm's way. Oi! Who's throwing footballs at my greenhouse? Ah! People who live in glass houses should not throw footballs. You threw it first. It nearly smashed my greenhouse. Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows. It's good enough for growing tomatoes. I'm amazed you can grow anything in that rubbish tip. I'll grow more than you do in your fancy glass box. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Grandpa, why is your greenhouse made of glass if glass breaks easily? Because I grow plants in it. Let me show you. These plants like sunlight and glass lets the light in. Ooh, this plant smells lovely. Oh, that's just basil. Granny Pig throws the seeds in a pot and it just grows. Oh. Let me show you something that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it tastes like. It tastes of... nothing. Well, they're not quite ready yet. Hello, my little mm. ones. Granny Pig! <laughs> Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato salad for lunch. Grandad Dog is growing tomatoes. Yes. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some. I don't think we want Grandad Dog's rusty old tomatoes. Uh. Cooey! Grandad Dog! Ah, oh, Granny Pig! Lovely to see you this fine morning. Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Borrow? You can take as many tomatoes as you like. The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Pepper, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted, ever. Ah. How did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil, and I haven't managed to grow any basil. My grandpa has lots of lovely basil. Really? Oh, yes. Grown heaps of the stuff. Let me show you. Very impressive. Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot and the basil grows. You mean it just grows by itself? Uh... Yes. Is it lunchtime yet, Granny? Oh, my poor darlings. You must be starving. Let's make that tomato salad. First, we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing off with these lovely basil leaves. Chuck in, everyone. Mmm. <laughs> Marvellous tomatoes. Thanks to my greenhouse. Mmm, beautiful basil. Thanks to my greenhouse. This is the best tomato salad in the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> Once 
upon a time. Pepper and George are looking at storybooks. Look, George. This is an exciting adventure. <laughs> there are fairies and three bears who can't stop eating porridge. <laughs> and a naughty wolf who's looking for an old lady to eat. Oh. Don't worry, George. It's always a happy ending. <laughs> I wish we lived in a fairy story. <laughs> Pepper, George, it's time to go. Are we going on an adventure? Yes, we're going to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. That's not an adventure. There'll be potatoes. Can we bring our picture books to read in the car? We're not going in the car, Pepper. We're walking there instead. Walking? All the way to Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, there's a shortcut through the park. Will there be dragons and fairies in the park? Not that I know of. But it will be a nice walk. <sighs> but there won't be any magic. Maybe, if we look hard enough, we might see some. Pepper and George have arrived at the park. Hmm, it doesn't feel like a magic place. Oh, I don't know. It feels a bit magic to me. Yes, this is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Wolf. Hello, Mr Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well, catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello. <laughs> Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Pepper. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Pepper? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Pepper has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Mm -mm. Yes, I've made a lovely lunch and it's ready now. Come inside. Hello, Peppa. Hello. Wendy Wolf has come for lunch too. Lunch is served. Hooray! Potatoes! Potatoes. Ho, ho. You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, I've had an adventure in the fairy tale woods. Ooh, what's the fairy tale woods? It's where you live inside a fairy story. <laughs> Peppa loves fairy stories. Everyone loves fairy stories. <laughs> George's woolly hat. Today, George is wearing a new woolly hat. <laughs> Hold on to your hat, George, or it will blow off. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Hello, my little ones. Now, children, play nicely. And George, don't get your new hat muddy. 
<laughs> we promise not to get George's new hat muddy. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. See you later. Bye-bye. Come on, Pepper and George. Let's go down to the garden. Yes! yes. <laughs> George, remember what Mummy Pig said about your hat? Yes, yes, <laughs> Granny Pig. It will be fine. <laughs> Pepper and George have found a large pile of manure. Ooh, what's this, Grandpa? That is manure. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. I put it on my vegetables to make them grow big and strong. It smells really smelly. <laughs> it's the muckiest, smelliest thing in the garden. Uh, probably best if you two stand back. There. Let's go spread some muck. This is Grandpa Pig's cabbage patch. Hello, cabbages. Would you like some manure? <laughs> it is getting windy. Hold on to your hat, George. Oh, dear. The wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it! George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Pepper. <laughs> I can reach it. I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Peppa, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it. Yeah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Grandpa Pig, I thought you promised not to let the children get muddy. I think you will find we promise not to let George's hat get muddy. And it's not muddy. It's perfectly clean. <laughs> yes, I can see. The only clean thing around here is George's woolly hat. <laughs> <laughs>